Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we look at the Advanced Sensitive Words plugin. So this is a really handy plugin to keep your chat and server clean. Not only will it censor words in chat, but it will also censor in other places such as on books and on signs. So I'm going to give you a few examples in-game of how it works and then we'll take a look at the config file. So if I were to pop a sign down and type a word that was on the naughty list, so such as this one, which I'm going to blur out, I'm going to hit done and then it says do not write sensitive vocabulary in the sign and it's going to bleep out the letters. And then I could write a sentence with a bad word in and for some reason NT is a bad word on the list so that is going to come up blurred. Not sure what it means, I always thought it meant nice try but apparently, according to this, it's a bad word, so it has been bleeped out, and there it is. But the other words remain visible. The same thing goes if I were to write something in chat. So this test NT, and then hit enter. Not only is it going to censor it for the other players, but it's also going to kick me and give this kind of fake message. So now that I've been opt, I can do the same two letters, and it's not going to kick me this time because opts are excluded from the list of naughty words. So let's go ahead and take a look at the command. If you do forward slash ASW and then help, there's only a few commands. What we can do is reload if we've made any changes. We can use the status command to see what is happening. So number of fil filtered messages six. There is a very handy command, which is the test command. So this is where you can test certain words um, without getting yourself kicked or anything like that. So we type NT it'll show that is what it will look like I'm gonna now type a message with actually bad words and see if they work so I'm gonna blur the bad words but you can see that basically the whole message which was naughty words has been blurred out apart from the last one and then it also lists the words at the bottom so here we are in the SM picnic control panel you can see there's a few YML files and a log file this is going to show all the different violations by a particular player it's going to list the date and time their IP address and whether it was chats or a sign and what the word or words were next we're going to go in the config.yml so up at the top we have the language by default it was in Chinese so make sure you set that to English if that's what you prefer and then down here we've got enable default words so this enables the default word library which is over 60,000 words and that's highly recommended and then if we scroll down a little bit we've got online words as well so this is false by default and I set it to true and if we go to this online words URL we can see all the other words that will also get blocked so here they are these are going to be blocked as well so you can't see them but there is a lot of naughty words both in English and Chinese here and then you can see the usual suspects plus some other ones which I'm not too sure about but are probably offensive in some capacity and then we can keep scrolling down and there's a few other things that we can look at so the violations get logged yes or no notify operators yes or no you can have a particular punishment if you want and then the bad words get replaced by an asterisk and then not only does it do bad words in signs, anvil, books, etc., but it also can get rid of stuff like weird characters, too many numbers in a row, it can get rid of email addresses, so they should be down here somewhere, here they are, email address, URL. Finally we've got the messages underscore en, and these just go to the messages that pop up in chat when someone says something they shouldn't. So here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.20, and you can see all the features here, the commands, and the permissions as well. It's a really handy plugin and I'd recommend it for your server. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.